this is Peter Brown. Today we are going to dip a bug. Gotcha. I've got a package from a gentleman named Marcus who's actually going to be in my shop tomorrow. We're going to do a project together. And he sent me out these really cool die cast bugs. What I've done is I've made a couple molds for these. You can see all of the detail in there. And the purpose of that is so that I could then cast a resin copy and begin experimenting. And there's a good reason for that because I didn't pay for these little cars and I don't want to destroy them. So this one failed, it overheated, kind of floated a little bit. Uh, and I honestly think this, this car is gonna to be too big for a gear shift. It's just gonna feel clumsy in your hand. But the little car I think will make a really cool shift knob. So here's my first attempt with that. Again, good thing I used the copy. Here's my third attempt. And I think I finally got a good recipe going on here. Now we're gonna cast the actual cars so that they will be ready for when Marcus comes tomorrow, hopefully without any issues. I'm gonna start with two ounces of resin. I'm using polyester resin because I like the way it shines up. 10 drops of catalyst, nine, 10. The thing I don't like about it is how hard it is to turn on the lathe. But since Marcus is going to be turning these, no big deal. We're definitely getting to the jelly stage. Let me show you what that looks like. The entire thing is going to get jelly really fast. You can see it's supporting the weight of the car. I think we're centered-ish. Maybe this could go... Nope, we're done. No more time. Uh... Mess with it any longer and I'll ruin it. All right, and for the second layer, we're going to use three ounces and 12 drops of catalyst. If you wait too long, you'll get a hard line between the two layers. There's no way to avoid the line altogether, but we can soften it by pouring it at this stage. Boy, I hope this works. I'd like to introduce Marcus. Welcome to the shop, Marcus. Thank you very much. Uh, and Marcus is from Germany, and he's got a channel called BugTech. And what do you do on there? I make gear sticks for VWs, especially the old air-cooled ones. Okay. Special gear sticks. But, but they're high-end. They're high-end. Okay. And today we're going to make a shift knob yes. for the top of it. Exactly. And you brought one, which is really cool. This is maple and walnut, and it's the perfect circle. Yeah, this perfectly one. round object. Yes. Okay, and do you, do you know we don't do perfect here? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm used to the channel. Okay, yes. good. In fact, this is what I turned out it's with wonderful. one of the VWs mm -hmm. that you sent me. I made a test one, and yeah. I, have the sh I have the connector exposed. Exactly. And that won't work. No, it, it would work technically, but it would. But not for it your shit. It would be ugly. <laughs> right. And we don't want to do that. No. So the idea that Marcus came up with was we're going to take a block of wood, yeah. and we're going to glue it on to my casting. Exactly. And then we can shove that yeah. inside. Yeah, we can hide it inside here. And have you ever turned resin before the lathe? No, never. <laughs> I have two blocks of resin at home and I never dared to try. So you're going to do it here? Yes. All right. Well, we'll blow up your lathe instead of mine. Fantastic. <laughs> Bears, but it sounds like you've got a good supply for them. Yes. I know where they're coming from in Bonn. And that's a region or a city? It's a city. It's, okay. it's the um, former capital of uh, West Germany. Oh, okay. And when, we, when we came back together, it got back to Berlin. Interesting. I, I always presumed that Berlin was the capital. The east, uh, west side of Berlin was the capital. No. So, East Germany is there, Berlin was their capital. Yes. But Bonn was the capital of West, West Germany? Germany. Yeah. Okay. A little history lesson. Nice. Love it. I think that's nice. Okay. Cool. I like it. It's a nice dome shape. Yeah. 
Does it feel comfortable in your hand? Yeah, it's it's to you. It's of course a bit huge. Yeah. It's more for a truck than for. <laughs> for you guys should just get a guy with a really big meat yeah. hand. All right. This whole thing will just go to this awful scuffed up look. Yeah. And we'll just go forward from there. 120. 150. 180. 240. 320. 400. 600. 800. I feel like we got really good uniform scratches. For the first time? For anybody's eighth time, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. And micro mesh starts at 1500 and goes all the way through 12,000. It's weird to be filming and not doing this. Yeah. It feels wrong. <laughs> I like it. You want to come back next week for my next video? Well, maybe not next week. <laughs> You're a natural. Thank you. Don't butter me up, Marcus. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks like glass. That's amazing. Anything and you wrong know with what? That? We could still put a little LED on the bottom. That's true. <laughs> uh, that looks really cool. So did we just go from a, sh a stick shift knob to a cool desk ornament mm. or is it still going to be a stick shift it's knob? It's still going to be a stick shift but knob. But maybe not a bug tech stick shift knob. Mm, probably not. It's a bit too huge for that. It's hard to get a good shot. Mm, it's, it's so much shiny. It is. You polished it too well. I want to thank Marcus for stopping by. I was super nervous having someone in the shop with me but it was a really nice visit and he left me with a cool push stick that he laser burned my logo into. He brought chocolate bars all the way from Germany for my kid, I, and I had recorded an outro with him, but some idiot forgot to push the button on the microphone. So it's just pantomime. Um, <laughs> and by the time I realized it, he was already down the coast. So he's here in California. He was here on an 18-day trip. He's taking pictures for a calendar that he's doing for his company, Bug Tech, of different Volkswagens down the coast of California. So since the knob was a little larger than what he was hoping for, Marcus has actually decided to do a giveaway for it. So if you want a chance to actually win that, and you can then use it as a shift knob or turn it into a cool desktop tchotchke, uh, go ahead and click up here for the link to his video where he's going to do the giveaway. If you are a Volkswagen enthusiast, uh, definitely check him out. Look for one of those calendars. From the couple photos I've already seen, they're gonna be pretty sweet. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.